I call uh, Andrew Little five minutes in reply. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, that was the enjoyable thing about hearing members from the other side, particularly Mr. Seymour and particularly Mr. Bennett, is that if anybody's confused about how Brexit happened and how Trump happened, they illustrated. They illustrated. You see, they, they still live the life of 1980s voodoo economics, where, where productivity isn't about the skilled labour we can create. It's not about the value we can create, it is about being cheap. They are, they live in the world of cheap. See, they think, they still think that people believe wealth trickles down. You just have the rich and the wealthy, they'll pick and choose the cheapest, they'll go wherever they like. You don't have to worry about communities in New Zealand. You don't have to worry about skilled, clever, talented people in New Zealand. You just trickle down. And we've been waiting 30 years. And they waited 30 years in the UK. They waited 30 years in the US. And now we're seeing the result. People have had enough. They want governments and politicians and leaders who are committed to the country they live in, committed to the people who pay their taxes to that government, committed to governments and leaders who want a decent country, with decent jobs, with decent incomes. Here's the problem with Mr Seymour's B-grade B economics degree. He doesn't understand productivity. Productivity is not about being cheap. It is about multiple value, multiplier value. You see, a, you see, a dollar spent in New Zealand has a multiplier value. And in the manufacturing sector, it, the multiplier effect is about five, four and a half to five. If that work on the, on the Kiwi Rail carriages had been done in New Zealand, that money gets filtered through the, the community several times over. You spend it overseas, that's it, it's gone. And you've got to support the people whose jobs have been lost. They never got that. Act never got that. David Seymour doesn't get that. David Bennett doesn't get that. He doesn't even care that the Waikato Expressway went overseas to get cheap steel, and now the good people of Waikato are going to be driving on unsafe roads. They're going to be driving on unsafe roads because David Bennett didn't have the gumption to say, look, when you're putting in my expressway, that's going to get me re-elected. Can you at least make sure we had good quality New Zealand steel? That means that you can drive safely and we'll keep jobs here. The truth about the National Party is this, and it's become absolutely crystal clear, absolutely crystal clear. They do not care about New Zealanders being in work. And that's why parties like Labor have to come and champion the cause. Now, I'm very flattered. I am very flattered by the Honourable Member Clayton Mitchell, who laid out all the common ground between Labor and New Zealand First. And I look forward to those coalition negotiations, because, because we clearly now have plenty to talk about. The one difference between us, of course, there is a difference between us, and one thing we absolutely and Labor stand for is changing the government. And when New Zealand First comes out and says that that's what they're committed to, We'll have even fertile, more fertile ground for those coalition negotiations. Mr Speaker, this is a bill that is about New Zealand and it's about supporting New Zealanders and their businesses. It's about supporting the talent and the intelligence and the smarts and the creativity of high quality, highly talented New Zealanders. That's all it's about. It's a chance for a government that understands what leadership is about in the economic sphere to give Kiwi businesses a chance. You see, we gave the examples here. You, and you look at companies like Fletcher Building, started off contracting to the government. It happened to be a Labor government at the time, admittedly, because Labor government, through the history of New Zealand, has supported New Zealand businesses, creating jobs here in New Zealand. And Fletcher Building was one of them. And look, they are now an exporter around the world. They are an exemplar one of the best companies in New Zealand. It's coming. What about Hills Hats? Oh yes, Hills Hats. <coughs> Made all the army gear, they held the hats, and now they export around the world. That's what you see, having the opportunity to contract to the government and, and supply the government does for a good quality, talented New Zealand business and New, New Zealand business people. That's what this bill is about. And Mr Speaker, I urge those members opposite who now have seen the light have realised their trickle-down trickle economics of the 1980s doesn't work as a failed experiment. They have the chance, uh, in a few seconds, to support New Zealand, to support New Zealand businesses, 
by voting in favour of this bill.